In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can make your own custom UI uh, look and feel uh, exactly how you want it to to match your game's theme. Let's get into it. Okay, so here you are. You have your UI. It's fully functional. However, it looks a bit bland and generic. So I'm going to show you how to make it your own using uh, inbuilt themes in Godot. So we'll go down here, right click, new resource. We're looking for theme, little rainbow icon. Uh, main theme in here, you'll see you opened our theme menu. So what this does, it applies style overrides onto all your UI objects across your project. And of course, what you can do if you ever need to change this, you can always go into here into the properties and go to theme overrides and amend there. But this is the default theme that Godot has implemented. So say we want to change buttons. What we've got to do is click this eyedropper and click on the button, and that'll bring up all the options over here. So what I've done before this recording is I have made some quick sprites just so that we can use these. So I just very basic, just some buttons. I made different states for the button. So hovers a little bit lighter, disabled is grayed out, and I've got pressed, which looks like it's a bit pressed down. So to apply these, what we're going to do, go into here, look for this rainbow button again, and we're going to create our own versions. So, so hit, say for on the normal, hit the plus icon. I'm going to go new style box texture. And what we're going to do is click on style box texture, and then we're going to drag our texture into the texture. Now it's not quite done. It looks a little bit weird. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into texture margins and I'm just going to make a texture margin of about 10. Oh, I might need more. Let's have a look at this looks. Now we're going to need more. So let's go 30. Too much. 20. On press, we're going to do the same thing. Let's go to the plus icon. New style box texture. Click on it. And then we're going to get the pressed texture I've created. And go texture margins 20, 20, 20, 20. Excellent. And I repeat the process for hover and also one for disabled. Okay, great. So now we can see we have our buttons down here. I don't really like the white text on this bit hard to read. So what I'm going to do is go into the first button here, font color. There's different font colors based on the status of the button itself. So I'm going to see if I can find one that looks good. So what does black look like? Already that looks a bit better. So we go to black for that one. Disabled color. I like that being grayed out. That's good. Hover. Again, very hard to read if it's white because it's quite light. So let's make that black as well. Rest. What does that look like when it's dark? I like that too. Right, so I prefer it like this. Okay, so that's the basics of our theme. We can even change the font size if we wanted to. So I want my one a little bit bigger. So let's go here. Let's make this 24. If you have a custom font, you can drop it in here. So now, hit save. And we notice that it still hasn't applied to our game itself or to our UI. So what we need to do is go into project, project settings. And then from here, we'll just look up theme, click on theme, go to custom, and then select our main theme. So we need to restart the editor now. Quickly go ahead and do that. And here we can see our buttons are fixed up. Now if we hit play, you can see that these look a bit better. And we can do the same thing here. So, for example, if we wanted our uh, uh, panel container, we wanted that. So, what we can do is go to the main theme, click on the theme, open it up. Now, I can't see panel container at first glance. So, what I might do, go to here and go add panel container. Now from here, again, we can get a style box in here. I might want to do another texture. What I might do quickly is just whip something up. Now, once we've done that, we'll go back into Godot. I go back to Godot now. What we're going to do is get our panel container PNG we just made. Let's just drag that in. 
pop it in here into our inspector. So what we're going to do is select our panel container, go to panel, and again, override that with a Starbox texture. I click on that one. Let's drag in our texture we just made. Obviously, we need those borders still, so 20 is working nicely for me, so we'll continue with that. We can see that already looks a bit more coherent. Might even change the label um, color as well, just the blanket update, so we can make this greener. Cool. And again, if we ever want to override this, what we can do is we can go into the individual properties of each of the elements on our screen, go to the theme overrides tab, and then from there, we can make any adjustments which override the blanket theme that we've just set. And now you've learned how you can make your own custom UI, your own styles, your own themes to make it match your projects going forward. If this is helpful, please feel free to like, subscribe. There'll be more tutorials coming up pretty shortly. Thanks.